Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a little flip through of another journal. Um, if this looks similar to the one I just posted the other day, it's because I created them kind of in tandem at the same time with some um, leftover ephemera and just things that I had. Um, and so I had created a bunch of ephemera in another video. I'll try to remember to link that uh, video down below if you're interested um, using some leftover pieces from my By the Wolf for God kits. And so and some vintage pieces from a house of books. And so created a bunch of ephemera and then I used it to um, create these two journals. So this journal measures um, about four and three quarters inches across by six inches tall. It has about a half an inch spine. This one is a little bit different because um, the spine itself is, is rounded instead of being kind of squared off. The other journal was a little bit more square. Um, it does have corners on it, but these are vintage corners. These are not the Tim Holtz ones. Um, these are ones that I got in my House of Books subscription. And um, so they're just on there. And then I have just a kind of temporary um, closure, one that you can remove if you want to. I added a little um, bulb pin with some beads on it just for, for fun. But this is some sari silk here. And um, I have some vintage fabric. I have some other, this is what I got from my House of Books subscription. I love this fabric. And then I have this um, vintage lace around the outside of that that I just had in my stash. So opening up, I have like a little paper doily here. This is one of the ephemera pieces that I created. Um, I was gonna use it as a journaling card. I decided to just make it a pocket and then tucked inside is a Tim Holtz journaling card. Um, and just added a little sticker into that medallion just for some interest. And this is on coffee dyed paper. This paper here is some vintage like timekeeping um, paper that I just had and I thought it was fun. I like having, you know, different sizes of papers and different things here. I used a ephemera piece, an ephemera piece here. And this is another, this is actually a project life card. And then I just put some dot grid um, craft paper on the back so that it, you know, kind of coordinated with the kit and it just tucks here. If you didn't want to tuck that in, you could definitely just glue that rest of the way down. Um, this is a little pocket I created out of a hymnal. And um, so inside here, I have a little tag and then a couple of Tim Holtz pieces. And then it's just decorated with um, a couple little uh, stickers. This is some By the Will for God uh, pattern paper that I had left over. Um, I had created some ephemera back in December and as part of a, a challenge in December. And so this little um, paper clip came out of that. And so I just have that tucked on the side and then a Tim Holtz journaling card tucked on there. I have some hymnal paper. Um, this little piece was a, like a vintage postcard. And so um, because of the size of it, it just worked out better to kind of wrap it. So um, I created a pocket on this side and a little tuck spot here. So I have another Tim Holtz journaling card that I just put um, some dot grid paper on the back. I'm sorry if you can hear my son. He always chooses when I'm trying to video as a time to play on his computer. So anyway, <laughs> sorry if you can hear that in the background. Um, but, and then this is just a By the Wolf of God ephemera piece there. And again, this is that pocket. I have a little um, craft colored um, tag. I need to put something on that. And then a little file folder. Here's another ephemera piece that I'm just using as a tuck spot for another Tim Holtz journaling card. This one already has the dots on the back. So you can just write on there. There's a lot of writing space in this journal. Um, and then this was actually a vintage envelope that I decorated. So it's just gonna flip out here. And then on the inside, I just have another little piece of Tim Holtz ephemera. And you can write on the back of that as well. Of course, you could tuck anything that you wanted to in there as well. If you had a private private notes or thoughts or scriptures or prayers or whatever you wanted to do, you could fit it in there. And then um, this is some coffee dyed paper that I just created a little pocket here. And then I have another journaling card with some dot grid paper on the back. This is a Tim Holtz journaling card. It's one of the, like the long ones. I just trimmed it down a little bit to create a belly band here. And then I have a coffee dyed um, tag here and another piece of um, Tim Holtz ephemera just tucked in there just to fill that out. Um, and then this is a tag. It was a ginormous tag that I um, decorated as part of that um, same um, 
ephemera project in December. So um, because of how big it is, you may not want it in this exact spot. So I just have it clipped in and it's actually double sided. And on the back, there's this little pocket. So there's another piece of Tim Holtz ephemera in there. And I'm just gonna leave that um, clipped in there. I'll clip that back in a second. Um, this is the other half of that timekeeping paper. And then this was um, a vintage envelope and I just opened up the side of it and created a little pocket. And so in here I have another um, Tim Holtz journaling card with some dot grid paper on the back. And then this is just that last page with that um, paper uh, doily. So I will um, include some extra goodies, some ephemera and some other little things in here with this journal. Um, as I said, I... Um, or maybe I didn't say, I can't remember, but um, I am going to be selling this journal. This journal's uh, going to be $25 plus $5 for shipping. If you're interested, leave me a comment down in the comments. If you um, aren't necessarily interested in this particular journal, but and you have other ideas or whatever I'm trying to, um, to get out some more journals, I have a few more that are ready to go that I've been working on for a while. It just took me a little bit to get kind of brave enough to try to to try to sell them. So um, I have already sold the one from the other day. So thank you for that. That actually just made my day. But um, anyway, I guess that's probably too much information. But if you are interested, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if it hasn't already sold on Instagram, um, then I will um, message you back there. But also I would love your feedback about um, kind of journal sizes. I know I mentioned this in the last video. So um, for those of you that watched that video, sorry for repeating myself, but um, I would like some information, some, you know, some feedback about like your size, your preferred sizes for journals. Um, and do you prefer small journals? Do you prefer thicker journals that you can be in for a while? I know, um, like I said, I, I like this to work small sometimes it's just kind of fun to do so um, I'm just really interested in your feedback on that so anyway if you liked this video I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until next time bye